In previous video I talked about suit slots and what you should and should not use. In this one let's talk about utility items and tools. So as for utility items you have three choices, either something explosive like proximity, mine, claymore or bouncy betty depending on your faction, or nanite systems medkit or restoration kit. But in any case I would definitely recommend you to take proxy mine instead of restoration kits or any other health regenerative items. And the simple reasoning behind that is that you can have implant that regenerates your health as well. Sure, instant health regeneration could be helpful, but most of the time you're gonna die anyways. So I'd rather have something that will help me kill someone. And so let's move on to the tool slot. By default you already have both tools unlocked, so the question is which one will you use? Either motion spotter or recon darts. But before we go in depth with these tools, there are four things that are common for both of these tools. At max level both of these tools will scan the area in 50 meter radius. And of course they will pick up enemy movements on the minimap only. Of course if enemy is not moving or he is crouched, he won't be detected. And of course certification costs for both of these tools are the same. So anyways, let's start with recon tool. One thing you must know before we start, secondary weapon called hunter aka crossbow can utilize the same darts as recon tool. Only keep in mind that each dart will scan approximately 10 meter area for 10 seconds, which is worse than level 1 recon tools darts. As for recon tool itself, at max level it will scan 50 meter area as stated before for 45 seconds only. Since recon tool is great at scanning huge areas and you can shoot these darts, most of the time you will be using this tool to attack or search and destroy. Personally I use it for search and destroy to hunt down snipers. Also these darts pulse every second or so depending on level, so you will only see a tiny blip on your minimap where enemy was at the time. As an added downside to darts, scanned area will will show up on enemy's radar as well, so they will know that you are scanning it. But that's okay because you are not limited to how many darts you can put on one area, and sure, if you put enough darts in one place, you'll be able to see enemy position more often. Still, the problem the darts face is their small duration timers, which means you'll have to keep spamming those things if you want some area to be covered for as long as needed. Nevertheless, darts are great at sensing incoming max crash or enemy wave or spotting approximate enemy position, which means that this tool I would rather use for offense than defense. So that's it about recon tool, so what's so different about motion spotter anyways? Well for starters it works just like a beacon, you can place it on certain areas and you can place only one at a time. Also at max level it will stay up for 4 minutes, which is enough to capture a small base. Also this item won't show up on enemy's minimap unless he is about 30 meters away from it, while at max range of course it will scan 50 meter range. And yes, unlike Dart, it won't show any blips on the minimap that you are scanning the enemy. So in a way, it's actually more stealthy. But I guess the best part about Motion Spotter is that it will always and instantly show where enemy is moving and direction he is looking at. Also, whether he is a normal infantry unit or max. The problem with Spotter is that unlike Darts, enemy will try to destroy it. And since you can only put about 1 meter away from you, you won't be really able to put it anywhere special. And as a plus, if enemy spots the spotter, it will show up on his and his friends HUDs quite nicely. So they will try to destroy it, trust me. Nevertheless, you'll be using this tool mainly to defend some area instead of attacking. And since you don't have to worry about putting it down every 40 seconds, like with darts, you can help your teammates by actually killing someone. If you're a solo player, I would recommend you to try them both and see which one you prefer better. Personally, I love Spotter's ability to show me where enemy is going instantly. Also, since Hunter as a secondary weapon can carry darts, you can use both spotter and darts, which I also do, but these darts usually come out in rare, very rare occasions. All I want to say is that recon tool is best used offensively whenever you need to know where approximately enemies are, and I use darts to hunt down infiltrators by putting darts around the area and scanning where he is more or less. But spotter definitely is a defensive tool since you can only put one at a time. Nevertheless, spotter can easily be used offensively as well. 
Also, keep in mind that if you put spotter on middle of a point in tech plant, you'll be able to see pretty much everything that's going around the whole building. It's also clear that enemies will try to destroy motion spotter, but not darts. Why is that? Well, since you can spam darts, it's exercise and futility to take them all down, and it's also pretty hard. So darts have that advantage. But what do I recommend? Well, seeing how you can have crossbow with darts, I always use that and spotter. The fact that darts are used to give yourself an early warning and approximate direction from which enemies come in combination with spotter, you'll be able to prepare and defend correctly. Or attack, of course. And of course, this video is the part of the big guide for infiltrators, so go check out the other parts of my channel.